God says, It is great to know what I desire from each person, but it is necessary to live the way I desire for each person. I don't just want you to know that living away from sin is good and it's what I desire, but I want you to actually live that way. It is easier said than done, but if you commit your life to me every day, it can be done. I love you. Dear God, please help me overcome my fear. Your word promises that you are always with me and will give me strength. I ask you today to deliver me from fear. When I am afraid, I want to put my trust in you. Please fill me with your peace and remind me that you are my protector. Guide me through any challenges and obstacles I face and give me the confidence I need so I can live at my full potential. I renounce any spirit of fear operating in my life and declare that I have a sound mind and a courageous heart because I am of God, and He is greater than he who is in the world. I am an overcomer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, as we approach the end of another year, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude. We thank you for the moments of joy and the lessons learned during this year. Lord, as we reflect on the past year, guide our thoughts and help us to grow from our experiences. Grant us wisdom to make the most of the coming year. May the challenges we face be stepping stones to a brighter future, and may the blessings we receive be a reminder of your love and grace. As we step into a new year, we place our trust in you, Lord, knowing that you are the constant in our ever-changing lives. In your name, we pray. Amen. Lord, thank you for your abundant, abounding grace. Thank you that we don't have to earn a drop of the mighty river of grace that flows freely for us today. Thank you for the unexpected, unmerited favor you've showered on my life. Help me put myself in the path of your love and grace. Help me not neglect the disciplines I need to meet with you regularly and to drink from the water of life. Thank you for your rich love. Amen. Dear Lord, as this day is wrapping up, please help our bodies and minds to relax. May our last thoughts tonight and our waking thoughts in the morning be words of praise and worship that usher in your peace. We thank you that we can rest well because you are with us and watching over us. Please refresh, replenish and revive us and those we care about as we sleep tonight. Thank you for the many ways you bless us and show your love, concern, and care for us. With gratitude and appreciation, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Merciful Heavenly Father, I come before your throne to pray for my beloved children. I ask that you sow seeds of discernment in their lives, enabling them to maintain steadfast faith in the face of temptations. Protect them, so they won't be misled by the shallowness and deceit of this world. In this age full of challenges and temptations, may your truth and love firmly reside within the depths of their hearts. Lord, may your Spirit inspire them to seek truth at all times, enabling them to choose the right path. May your mercy and forgiveness fill their lives, allowing them not only to discern between good and evil but also to treat those around them with hearts full of compassion. In the name of our Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you love God and are not unashamed of Him. Amen. I realize that when God loves you, 
He won't necessarily bless you all it with obvious or material things like big mansions or cars, or even attention from the world. Instead, he blesses and favors you in ways that make you a better human being. He will give you a better sense of self-worth. He will give you knowledge. He will give you intellect. He will place opportunities in your soft heart to help others. He will mold you into someone who spreads kindness and love. He will put only meaningful people in your life so that it's only you and him. He will give you a sound heart and a peace of mind. Blessings are not always obvious. But, look deep and you'll realize that you are blessed. God is saying to you today, that closed door was not a rejection but a redirection to something bigger and better. I will bring people into your life who will help you, not hinder you. They will encourage you, not judge you. They are not part of your past, so they won't keep reminding you of it. Don't look back. I have something amazing in your future. Type, Amen, comment. Don't underestimate how God can and will use you. Almost two years ago, I cried out to him in a moment of desperation to use me for whatever he wanted. I never thought he could use me. I thought I was too broken, too damaged, to ever be used by God. But he heard me. And I'm so thankful that he did. He placed people in my life that needed me to show them God and other people who I needed to show me more of God. I'm walking proof that he does move. Not in our time, but in his. The Lord says forget the things that happened in the past. Do not keep on dot thinking about them. I am about to do something new. It is beginning to happen even now. Don't you see it coming? I am going to make a way for you to go through the desert. I will make streams of water in the dry and empty land. Isaiah 43,18-19 Your relationship with God should never be based on feelings. There will be times in your life when you don't sense the presence of God, but that's merely because he is teaching you to walk in faith. It's essential to realize that these feelings are temporary. Just because you may not feel God's presence doesn't mean he is absent. He promised to never leave you nor forsake you. Don't allow your feelings to dictate your life. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He lets me rest in grassy meadows. He leads me to restful waters. He keeps me alive. He guides me in proper paths for the sake of his good name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you are with me. Your rod and your staff protect me. God is with you. God has you. Reading this to remind you that when you face these times where you feel fatigued, overwhelmed, like you don't have the strength to go on, to keep going, to keep listening, and to keep pursuing him. Remember, Jesus felt overwhelmed. Moses and Elijah didn't think they could go on. God is going to give you the Holy Spirit to strengthen you, the right people are going to show up. God is not going to let you miss your destiny. He gives strength to the weary, not giving up on them. God, life is meaningless without you. You alone are my source of joy, hope, peace, and comfort. You alone are my place of refuge. So today, please remove any fear in my life that is keeping me from worshipping you. 
I want you to become the purpose of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is the part of my life where I silently remove myself from anyone who hurts me more than they love me, drains me more than they replenish me, brings me more stress than they do peace, and tries to stunt my growth rather than clap for it. I think that I've done more than enough talking and trying to make things work with certain people. I'm done. Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart, but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. Ecclesiastes 3.11 You may not come from a family that has done great things, you may not have any family at all. But God will raise you up and birth a great family out of you. You will create legacy and build. You will shift the trajectory of your bloodline and do great things with Jesus. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. Isaiah 61, 1 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. 1 John 4, 7